Hi, so today I'm going to give you some tips on making your figure drawings look beautiful and well designed. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. Okay, so when we're doing a final line on our figure, we let's say we put in the gesture and then we put in the lay-in, but then how do you finish the anatomy and the construction to make your figures look so, so that you can have confidence in, in, in what you put down so that you don't have that scratchy line so that you so and, and when you actually put down a line um, your your figures look organic and uh, and and a lot less say amateurish or, or beginner how to get rid of that beginner look right on your figures how do you how do you make them look like you really know what you're doing really design the anatomy so that it looks organic and 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 it has and it packs a punch when viewers look at it and they say wow that's beautiful what are the tips and tricks well today i'm going to be talking about those tips and tricks so that when you uh, approach a figure um take your time study this uh, so that when, when you do like a fast drawing, like a 30 second, a minute, five minute drawing, uh, you're thinking about that it becomes second nature that you're, that you're making these decisions. But at first, maybe you want to practice uh, doing this on your sketchbook. But these are the tips. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about what to avoid doing, what design choices are not good designs, and what design choices are good designs. That's what we're, that's what we're, uh, and, and how to observe it in a figure so that you can break it down and, and, and see it for yourself and make the, the good, better, better choices to, to in, in at the end of the day, when your figure is finished, it will be more beautiful, more organic, more interesting to look at. Okay, so this, here's, here's my tips. Okay, so I'm going to take this, uh, this figure here and I'm going to really quickly talk about some of the do's and don'ts that I like to keep in mind when I'm doing figure drawing uh, especially when I'm designing uh, body parts and decide uh, choosing what to put in what to put out um, so usually what I do when I start working on a figure right uh, as I've shown many many times in many many videos um, I like to design the the gesture first um, thinking about uh, just general uh, lay-in of the figure usually I put in the um, the center lines I put in the the graphic shapes as simply as I possibly can uh, thinking about uh, spacing and placing the, the spaces in between the body parts when I put these these lines here like this thickness um, it should be an approximation of the the thickness of the limb which tends to taper in space so you taper this this is probably a little bit straighter than 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 it is here um, I put one and then the second line line two and then it's tapered and then uh, See, so this, this is a straight line, right? And then I'm thinking about the thickness of this entire arm, but it tapers. Okay, so let's say that this is it. This is, this is my, my, um, my lay-in. By the way, I put in the, the head here and I turn the head very simply so that I could decide, you know, um, have a have a general idea as to um, the direction that the head is going um, I'm also when I'm doing this I'm also thinking about the um, the um, the solidity of this of these shapes what direction these things are going right this is coming at us this is going away from us and so I'm thinking about these things as well Okay, but when, when we get to this point, when we get to uh, the, the, the point where we've kind of laid in the, the body, the face, and I mean the body, and, and, and again, none of these proportions are perfect. There are a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of things that I made. I made this a little longer than I think this guy really is, but it's better to make uh, a person look a little bit longer 
than to make them look stubby. So there's a there's an idea uh, in drawing um, the figure. Sometimes when you when you draw a figure, uh, uh, it's better to err on the side of making them too ideal, too over idealized, than to not idealized enough. Uh, it, it, th there's more forgiveness in the audience's mind when you make somebody look more like a fashion model. <laughs> Uh, or an idealized lanky lo length than, than when you make them look stubby. I don't know what, why that prejudice exists, uh, probably from conditioning of our culture, but um, that tends to be the way that we tend to think about these, these things when we, um, when, we, uh, when we draw. By the way, this, this guy is leaning forward and then is, and then is leaning back, so there's a, there is a turn here. Okay. So let me talk about uh, the, oh, and I put this in the wrong layer, didn't I? Okay. Let me talk about the, uh, the uh, when, when you're actually adding some of the finer details and the way that I think about design and designing uh, anima, a, a, anatomy so that it looks organic. So um, over and over and over again, when I coach people, uh, the biggest thing that I noticed that everybody seems to do when they're starting out doing figure drawing is that they start doing football or oh, American football um, uh, body parts and shapes. This is what I mean. When I see um, starting a, a, people who are starting at, in figure drawing, they, they tend to draw muscles like this. They, they have the, 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 the figure, right? And then they draw muscles like this. Here's the shoulders. Here's the forearm. I mean, the, the upper arm. And here's the, and, and then here's the. And, and all the muscles are like that. And then, and then the, 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 the pecs. And then everything is, is like these. And, and so. And then what we, 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 you end up having is like, here's the leg and here's the leg. And, um, and so it looks like there, this almond shape looks like uh, an American football, right? So we have this almond shape uh, by, uh, uh, muscles almond shaped muscles they they all look like this they all look like like almond shape they, they, it, this is uh, this almond shape muscle shape is the the worst that's just the worst never ever 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 do that okay um, uh, eventually you'll find cases where you, you you can get away with it but when you're starting out, because of the 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 because of your the, the nature of, of 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 starting out drawing figure drawing, uh, how everybody seems to do this these shapes they are terrible they look horrible and one of the reasons why uh, I I'll, I'm uh, I'm making this video is just to to help you notice that you're doing this and to try to avoid it and and this is because this doesn't feel organic. It feels mechanical. It feels like you're making a snowman. It feels like you're making the Michelin man. It doesn't feel like an organic human being, right? That this, the mus muscles don't do that. Human beings tend to be very wavy like this, right? We're made, like, like Steve Houston likes to say, we're made of water. We're very watery beings. We have very we, we, we should we should look more like wa water, right? He used he said that I'm not sure if he says that in any of these, his online videos, but when he was teaching in person, he would often talk about the watery nature of our uh, uh, of our uh, of the organic body, right? Um, so what we want to do, um, and, and here's here's what I here's what I mean, like like uh, the human being. Um, like let's let's take a profile, right? Um, a human being tends to be here's here's the head, and then 
um, here's the chest and then here's the the butt and then here's the leg and here's the calf and then we have the feet so if we're looking at a profile what's happening here what 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 do we see well we see this and then this and then this and then this and then this. so what what is that that is that is that is a wave and so the reason why that is is because we're very springy right we 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 can coil up and then we can spring out and stretch out so the the our our entire bodies are made of like this kind of str stringy springy looking body and so we have the human body looks like that right and then the arm does the same thing we have the shoulder then we have the the biceps and then we have the 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 elbow here with the uh, with the um, forearm muscles and then we have the, the body the, the the hand right so we have boom 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 and then we can leave these straight here and then we have the arm right so again so we have like this 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 and so that um watery wavy uh, rhythmic uh, idea uh, of the body um exists uh we, we want that it, it, it's not this what well, it's it's it, it, it doesn't look like this it doesn't it, there there is no it, it doesn't do that okay um, another way of like so and then we're, we're looking at it from the front right so this is a little bit different because we have the the two sides here but then when we look at the legs we can do the same thing we have this the, the 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 thighs and then the calf and then the foot right and you can do this minor this kind of a minor um, uh, rhythm here with the um, with the ankles but we do the same thing here boom boom ankles ankles leg and then here with the with the with the um, with the arms again, we do we can do the same thing. And then the hand. Okay, and then we we can do that. Or actually, this would be better if we do that. If we go boom, boom, small here, or is it's the other way around? It's small here. So this boom, 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 small here. I mean, big. I mean, small here, big here that's 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 the way so we have this thigh that comes into here where there's this turn here then there's a bigger one here that's more accurate so the the idea being that we have a rhythm here and then a small rhythm here and then a big one here but they're all interlocking so this is the thigh this is the upper calf this is the this is the the lower ca the 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 other side of the calves here so this is all coming in interlock 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 so what what we're trying to avoid is making this that right we're 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 trying to avoid that and going straight to this again this this is what we're looking for we're looking for this we're looking for the this interlocking rhythm boom 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 right 
So, um, in, in in everything that we do when we are when we're when we're doing anatomy, we're trying to avoid this, and we're trying to find these rhythms, so that we can have this this flowing look, and that makes it feel much more organic. Okay, so let me show you what I mean when I am going to do the final line on this. So what I'm looking for is I'm I'm trying to avoid anything that looks um, like like an almond or yeah like an almond shape like a like a football shape and I'm looking for the watery rhythmic um, uh, uh, organic look that I just talked about that waviness right so we have the chest here for example okay then we have a straight so another thing that we want to look for that I didn't talk about here is I'm looking for uh, places where I can I can combine this C curve, this rhythm, right, this rhythm here, with a straight line on the other side. So we're looking for this design shape of straight versus curve, straight versus curve, right. So instead of having two lines, two curves like this that look like brackets, we're looking for a straight and a curve. Uh, a, a straight in the curve look, so it looks like a D, right? A, a backwards D or a, or a uh, or, or for, forward D, right? right? We're looking for straight versus curve uh, uh, ideas. Uh, we're also trying to find places where we can combine a straight with a, a curve. Any place that we can do something like that just to add interest, just so that not everything is a curve, right? So we don't want, we want to avoid doing this. This is just, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't help. Um, everything being a curve makes everything look um, like it doesn't have any structure. We're looking for places where we could combine straights and curves as much as possible. And anytime we have a curve, we don't want a repetitive curve so even if we have two curves, we want uh, one curve to be maybe big and then one shallow and small and more uh, 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 and steeper and then a straight. So we're looking for variations, right? So we're looking for that. And then again, um, if we have if we have two two curves, we don't want them to be exactly the same. If we want two curves, we want to offset them, right? Offset the curves like here, right? And even if it's in the, in, and we can have small ones and longer ones, but as long as they're offset, we can get away with it. And if possible, find a place to put a straight, right? Okay. So I'm looking, so most of the time, I would err on the side of putting down straights. But there are places, of course, in this body where there is a, an obvious curve. Look, see, there it is. There's a curve right here. So this, that, is is a place where I would put a curve and then here notice there is a light a small bump here um, I'm not gonna put it in there like this is a straight this is a straight um, let's I'll just leave it like that I know that there's a um, that the, this is where the the uh, the forearm and the and the and the um, and the upper arm meet so I will put a see so now that there's a there's a curve right here and there's another curve now notice how here um, you can you you, you would I, I could see how how this may look like uh, an almond shape now I'm going to show you what I I would do here because um, it, it, it isn't there's a shadow here and then there's bones and, and other things going on so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a C curve and a straight, right? And then here, what happens is that there's a bone and it sticks out here. So first of all, um, that's happening. And then what I would probably do is either put a very shallow C curve and then a straight or just leave it a straight. And it's actually better to just leave it as a straight and um, and have it just taper.
And that way you avoid the Michelin man and it feels more organic and it's more designed, right? And then here we have this muscle. So notice how this, this, is, this is basically a straight line. And then there's a C curve here. So we can get away with doing a, a C curve and a straight and a straight. And then this is where the, the muscle comes in and, and wraps around in here, right? We could put this and make this the C. So notice how this, these interesting shapes, this square shape, and then this C curve um, creates a very beautiful, interesting design, right? We could even break this up into a, into a, so another, here's another trick like that I just did. Okay. So let's say that we have this ball shape here and um, it's basically a ball. And if you were only to do the lines, it would just be, it would look like exactly what we're trying to avoid. Right? So a good, way to get her around this or or to make a decision about that ball uh, shape so that it doesn't look too Michelin man is what I did here which is this side is fine and then this I just this side of the ball I broke up into a boxy or shape and now we have a ball into a box so now we have the straight versus curve idea and then that actually gives us a very interesting shadow shape so that's what i did here and then we have a small c curve here see so notice we have a big one and then a small one and it's okay and then we could put a straight here this is a corner so mo most of the time when when i'm thinking about uh, bones protruding i put a corner so we have this here i'm not doing too many too many uh shadows here i'm just drawing lines i'm, I'm kind of avoiding the shadow the shadow shapes at this point this is a straight line and then here is a straight line, but I, I, I start the line from in here. Because that's the muscle. This, there is a, I think, uh, in the shadows, there's a muscle in here. But I'm going to leave this very simple as a stretched out. This is a, this is a, a the C curve straight C curve two C curves together one two like that is an S curve and an S curve is is um, is a more complicated uh, shape but it, it works really well in in organic things an S curve there you could actually say that it, it I, this is an S curve too if you if you really wanted to push this S curve but I like to make this a straight because um, this is bone this is mostly bone Okay, and then we have the um, uh, the muscles here of, of the of the abdomen. Okay, so here we go. Get to the leg. Legs tend to have this rhythm, so you can actually see the rhythm here. This is wide, and then this. Notice this, and then see the. Notice how this. It's right here, like this watery shape here. Boom. And then we have boom, right? And then what about this? Well, we can make that a straight, right? So here's the butt, which I make two straights, two straight lines. Then I'm going to do that. Um, notice that you could actually make this a little bit of a straight. Look how, look how long this is, and then it turns and goes into the knee, right? And then we have that shape comes around. And then we have that. And then here we have the crotch and we can go st straight down. This, don't, don't, um, don't um, undermine your 
lay-in. Your lay-in is, is very, very helpful. You could just, you could just reinforce that lay-in and make it part of your final line. And, and it works. See, so I have a straight, we have a C curve here, we have, and then there's that rhythm that comes this, this, and then this, right? And then we have that straight here. And that gives it a more organic designed look. And then we go all the way down here. Then we come down. We have a straight here. There's a straight line here. And then we have a C curve for the calf. And then uh, it, it could be an S curve, but we have this line here. Let's, let's just reinforce that line. Let's just keep it. And then we have this line here. And then we have this line here. We have... It, let's just keep it. We reinforce it. And then, so what we have here is an organic looking leg, right? But it's also very designed. And so we're adding, we're, we're looking for thing, places in, in the figure where we could add uh, that rhythm that we see. And so here we have this leg, right? So we have this leg and it, this is another curve here. And then if you notice, Boom, this, the, 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 that organic line is here. And so we could leave this straight. So we don't have the problem of the Michelin, right? So what we, of the Michelin man, for the, the, the little snowman. So we, we find the, the knee, because that's, that's important, finding where the knee is. So we'll just say that the knee is right here, and then we'll make it a box, right? Or, or a circle, we'll, we'll just indicate it with a circle. And then we do the, th this is a, a shallow straight, so, I mean a shallow C curve. So we'll, it, it turns, but it's very shallow. Like it's, it's almost straight here and then it curves here. Um, and then we do the, the rhythm. You can see that the rhythm is com comes in and does that, right? We're going to need something down here, so we got to be careful. And then we go and do the straight here. So this is probably like the there's a muscle here. The butt muscle comes down, and then we'll do the straight right here. Boom, right? So now we have this beautiful kind of rhythm. So we have this rhythm and then this small rhythm here. Now, now we have this straight, so we want a straight line here. And here's the tricky part. We have this that comes off of this, right? This rhythm and then this rhythm. But then we have this knee that breaks it up. And then from this knee, we could add another rhythm. We could take this knee, pretend it's a, it's a, it's a C curve, and then add a big rhythm here. So remember how I said that it's okay to have um, two C curves as long as the C curves are different sizes, right? So this C curve, here's a straight C curve, and then we have, we're gonna need this, from, from this knee, we're gonna need this kind of rhythm. So we go boom, and then we can do that, and straight. And then we can, add a bunch of straights here could add a bunch of straights here um, if you don't want to deal with with um, with curves um, straights will save you every time this is maybe too much Okay, and then we have the the hand. Just drawing the the um, negative spaces on the hand. Okay, we have the head, which is mostly hair. I got to do a hair thing, huh? 
uh, draw from from figure drawing. I forgot I was gonna do that too. And I don't know, it's lost in in, in space here in, in the in the shadows. Okay, so um, maybe this goes here like that. So that's that's what I I I, uh, I wanted to talk about and 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 uh, give you some tips on on shapes, um, on final line, on design. Um, looking for for these offsetting shapes, looking for places to put straights and curves together. Um, in order to design and beautify your figure so that it's not all looking like a lumpy bumpy snowman you want to avoid doing these kinds of muscles at all cost you want to add rhythm and gesture and movement in your figure so that it has uh, uh, so that so that you're building or uh, a feeling of or uh, being organic right um, uh, you're, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for or, organic um, lines, things that are going to make your your, your figure more dynamic. Uh, uh, and and don't be afraid of straights. Um, uh, add them more often than maybe even curves, because you can get away with more straights uh, than than necessarily curves, but where you but again you're you're trying to find places to avoid doing the Michelin Man doing the the um, the almond shapes too much, um, just because um, uh, really in nature um, that sort of mechanical look doesn't happen very often, right? Um, maybe uh, you can get away with it because the rib cage is. Uh, in in a straight in a straight uh, on look, you can get away with being symmetrical, right? Because the, because the rib cage is a is an egg, you can get away with some symmetry, right? And and especially when you're drawing somebody straight up and down, and you, this side has to look like this side. But for the most part, for the, most of the time, uh, it, it, you don't. We all experience looking at people straight on like that, but when we observe the world um, and people around us um, uh, not facing us and not talking to us, um, they tend not to have symmetry, right? So it, on the one hand, it's natural to make everything look symmetrical. On the other hand, uh, most of the time people aren't looking straight at us symmetrically or, or, or we don't observe people looking uh, looking symmetrical they are three quarter and stuff like that and that tends not to be the case where every every one side is the same as the other side um, okay so that's that's my tips for for when you're doing figure drawing when you're when you're doing final lines um, it's um, it's a good idea to try to find places to design. It's a good idea to find places to, to, to design, to, to put straights and curves together um, and to avoid the Michelin Man. All right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye. So I'm happy to announce that I now have a new drawing lesson called Drafu Guide to Sketching and Gesture Foundations. It's the beginning of the level two information that people have been asking me for for the drawing website which will teach you where to start drawing, what to draw, what to draw when you draw, how to draw from observation, how to draw from imagination, how to draw what you envision, and how to discover what you ought to envision if you don't have anything specific in mind. So if you find any of this interesting, you could follow the link that you see, or you can go to thedrawingwebsite.com, look under level two, and you'll find a link there.